A few years ago, we already made a video about the most well-protected tanks in War Thunder, like the German Maus or the American T-95 tank destroyer. But as time passed, many new vehicles were introduced to the game, including quite a few designs that were considerably more modern. That's why today, we're going to talk about the most well-protected heavies once again. But this time, it's all about MBTs. We start with the T-62M-1, an improved version of the Soviet T-62. During development, engineers' goal was to bring the tank's survivability to the standards of the late Cold War era. The upper frontal plate was reinforced with add-on composite armor, and the vehicle also received rubber side skirts and side panels. As a result, the hull of this T-62 is well protected against hits with older munitions, and the turret can reliably withstand early APF-SDS rounds. At sixth place, we have the British Chieftain Mark X. This MBT is pretty slow, but that was a conscious decision on the engineers' part, as they tried to make the tank as well protected as possible. And you know what? Thanks to the shape and the thickness of armor on the turret, as well as the use of still brew armor, a hull down chieftain is almost invincible to attacks with sub-caliber munitions. Its upper glacy plate is not as thick as the armor on the turret, but it sloped at more than 70 degrees. Then we have the M1A1HC. Compared to earlier models, this variant of the iconic Abrams features a modified armor arrangement. Rounds like the Western DM-33 or the Soviet 3BM-46 still can penetrate the vehicle's defenses, but in most cases, only by hitting weak points like its lower glacier. The good part is that no mobility was sacrificed to allow for better survivability. This M1A1 is as mobile as ever. In the fourth place on our list is the Swedish S-Tank, the famous Stridsvagen 103A. What makes it different from most other MBTs is that it's a turretless design with a fixed gun and a hydro-pneumatic suspension. Its upper frontal plate is only 40 millimeters thick, but it's sloped at 79 degrees. Most rounds won't even leave a scratch on that. The lower frontal plate can't boast such a favorable angle as well, but it still can bounce off quite a few shells. Furthermore, the tank has fuel cans placed along the sides, acting as additional armor against heat projectiles. And thanks to the way the controls were set, the S-Tank can be operated by just a single crew member. At the third place, we have the British Challenger 2 TES. What can we say? The British do like their armor. The turret face of the tank can reliably withstand hits with modern rounds. The only hits that are really dangerous to us are the ones to the gun mantlet. Furthermore, here are blocks on the sides provide decent protection against heat projectiles, with the exception of tandem charge weapons and the tank is pretty well defended against sub-caliber rounds. At the same time, when it comes to mobility, this Challenger shares the fate of the Chieftain. Some sacrifices had to be made to get that superior survivability. The silver medal goes to the Soviet T-72B MBT. It's an upgraded variant of the legendary T-72A. The armor of this model is strong enough to protect the vehicle from sub-caliber munitions, 
and the Contact 1 ERA performs really well against heat projectiles. Finally, the well-deserved gold goes to two tanks at the same time, the Soviet T-80 BVM and the Swedish STRV-122B PLSS, which is a heavily modified and upgraded Leopard 2. Despite the fact that those vehicles were produced by different schools of tank design, both tanks are really good at taking a punch and are fully deserving of the first place honor. If an enemy projectile isn't hitting their turret ring or the mantlet, they can withstand literally any hit to the front of their turrets. The bodies of those tanks are really well protected also. Granted, they're not as tough as the turret front, but they still provide enough protection to withstand hits by the strongest rounds in the game. Also, as opposed to many other designs competing for the same title, these MBTs do not sacrifice any of their mobility for armor. If you want to play on a well-protected MBT, these two are definitely your best choices. Every tank that made it on the list is well defended against the guns of its contemporaries. But you can't stop progress. Engineers are constantly creating new ways to deal with armor. Tandem charge weapons, multi-role missiles and rounds designed to explode right above the target's thin roof. All of these pose a serious threat to even the most well-protected MBTs. By the way, do you like vehicles with heavy armor? Or do you prefer lighter vehicles? And did we mention any of your favorites? Please, come on guys, tell us in the comments below. We're waiting to hear from you. Mm -hmm.